today. And uh, as a kid, uh, juggling it was so it was so fun to me, so fun to like watch other people juggle. I thought it was kind of a privilege if you were able to juggle like you were you considered cool, whatnot, you know. Um so uh, my juggling never really started until I was a junior in high school. And um, when we got a new head coach for baseball, he was all about hand-eye coordination and reaction time, stuff to benefit you on the field and off the field. Um, so I didn't really know how to juggle at the time. So he taught me like he taught me how to juggle like three simple steps. And those three steps were. Can we get this up here? Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's coming. It's just, it's just stepping. No, being the last one. You can say it. All right, so the first step he taught me is to, you want to start with one ball, and you just want to throw it to the other hand. Just as simple as that, um, to get your, kind of like how this guy's doing, get an eye level and make sure that you have um, your accuracy down. So it's not that hard. Look something like this, and then just your simple, start with your dominant hand, I prefer. Uh, you can start it with your non dominant hand if you want. I don't, I don't, like, I don't like to do that personally, but if you want to, go for it. So that would be easier to you. And then the next step he said is you wanna start with two balls or next once you you know got your got your little one ball down. You wanna start with two balls and you're just gonna just like that. Once once your first ball reaches your highest point, you wanna throw your other ball. Make sure you know that stays eye level, and you have good accuracy with that. Just like this dude. It's nice and easy. Once you get comfortable, this is usually the step that is the hardest, or was the hardest for me, at least when I started juggling. Uh, just kind of, I don't know, it was the hardest for me to get the accuracy and tie it down. I was all over the place. Once you're comfortable with the second step, you're going to get your third ball, and you're just going to you're gonna throw your first one. You're going to have two in your dominant hand. Throw your first ball, at, just like the other one, same height. Uh, make sure you, know, you got your, your plane that you're working with, high level. And then once your first ball reaches your highest point, you're going to throw your second ball. And once you throw your second ball, um, you're going to make sure that's eye level at the highest point. You're going to throw your last ball. So, you know, it's going to look something like this. by now. Um, it may seem confusing and hard at first, but uh, it's really, it's really not. You just need to practice. Um, I didn't know how to juggle. I learned, I learned how to do that in about 15 minutes. So it's not that hard. Um, yeah. So here's a, another demonstration of what I was talking about. And while 
when you're doing three balls, when you move on to three balls, you want to, uh, if you if you have trouble, if you want to start out slow, you can just you know do your simple like just kind of start, kind of implement your second step into your last step basically. So you can do a little like one two three, you know, and then you can kind of like kind of add on add on a throw every time you go. So. The great thing, the great thing about doing, um, like playing baseball uh, in high school was that this was like baseball was like a perfect object to juggle with. Uh, it was, you know, not too heavy, not too light. Uh, it wouldn't like bounce off or whatever. Uh, your palms, um, you know, if you drop it, like, oh well, it wouldn't break anything. Um, and. Juggling, I just learned how to juggling because I ultimately had to for baseball. It made me didn't really want to. I mean, I wanted to, but then again, I didn't because I thought it would. I thought I'd never do it. But it's just a cool little trick that you can show your friends, and um, yeah, it's not that hard. Don't get too uh, frustrated with it. You'll get it. Enjoy.